Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildemuth All the Bones of Summer with the Bronze Brotherhood. Right now we have Woen Fimwar, Loot Fimwar, and Dorgan Roos uh, securing the Crypt of Ula. Uh, real quick. While Fifwig, Geneva, Powda, and uh, Baldric move towards this other region to scout it out and make sure everything's safe. With this belt found and given to Geneva through some means, uh, Woen and his party, I think, are going to go to Cornkel to try and recruit, make, find a new recruit. Ideally, we're going to get a new mystic, and ideally it's going to be a randomly generated mystic rather than a legacy one. I do want to check the legacy heroes just in case there's like one or two heroes there that I might pick up anyways if they're available. In the meantime, Baldrick and his group have uh, some uh, Thrixel to deal with in the uh, Mansapiron, the Strider. Has anyone seen webs yet? Fog is so thick I can barely see anything. You'll probably hear Thrixel before you see them at this rate. Maybe... ooh. That's an awfully pretty patch of flowers to be in a gloomy place like this. Funny shape they're in now that you mention it. It's not just me, right? That giant that's a giant flowering footprint. This rings a bell. I remember a drawing of this very clearly, but the context is Give me a minute. What was that? Woom. Woom. There's something moving through the forest. Something huge. <laughs> Hang on, we're near Mats of Parlin, right? Oh no. The Strider of Mats of Parlin! Parian! There's no L in there! What? There's no L in there! A giant of terrible beauty, dooming those who look upon it! And you're just remembering this now? Did you say doom? Well, now I've got to know what this thing is. It's not what we're looking for. Let's get out of here! Uh, I think I know what the more interesting option is. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to use the dice for this one. Screw it. This is one of the reoccurring events that I wanted to avoid. But, you know what? To be fair, it is pretty good. We haven't seen it too much. So, you know what? Sure. Now I gotta see that thing. Am I sure we should go chasing after whatever this was huge enough to make that print? Come on, why not? Why do you become an adventurer if not for the occasional doom? I ask myself that sometimes. Or some days. This would be easier if I could see more than 10 feet in front of my face. Whoom! <laughs> the Strider! The Threxel! Come to me, brave one. They're close! Get ready! What's on your face? Doom. And so now uh, Baldric is vine-touched, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah! That's a uh, that's something we got here. Um, here, have that. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, so maybe uh, swap to that and shoot. This will give Powder the chance to sneak up behind and smack it. And you know what? Actually, uh, you get out of here. Shoo, shoo! I say to ye. All right. Then we can come up from behind, uh, come up on this bard, take this out, oops, nope, uh, I said take it, nope, you can't reach that, really? Hmm, that's frustrating. Alright, well, okay, we just take out the one we told to flee, that makes sense to me. I'm not sure why I couldn't take out the bard, I feel like that would have been pretty easy. Just like that, you know, you did it, you just did it, I don't know why you couldn't have done it before, but okay, I'll take it. Uh, and, uh... Hmm. You know what? Let's actually silk step you. You are slightly hurt. And then we'll move the warriors up front here. 
Uh, the Dweaver is probably going to teleport, so we'll have, uh... We're going to have Geneva do the Silk Step as well. Oh, that's not a Silk Step, Geneva. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but that was not what I asked you to do. So, uh, oops. Uh, Geneva may be in trouble. She's fine. Okay, fifth wig. Can you... no. Powder, no. Okay. Uh... Well, you know, fifth way, get down there then. Take it out. Okay, uh, you should have had another attack there, not just the one. But again, okay, I suppose this works too. These guys are not being very cooperative today, are they? No siree. Um, okay, you got Sentinel, and you move over here, I guess. Just wait. Wait your chance. Your chance did not come, alas. And whatever. Okay, something bad is going to happen there. I don't want to be there. And everyone's going to move forward. And Baldrick. Uh, I'm going to move you back here, I think. Powder! Stop! Stop! Everything you're doing, Powder! And by that, I mean stop doing that bard. Here. Have a knife in the back. It's what you deserve. Okay. That's a good amount of damage. <laughs> Maybe a bit overkill, but it's fine. Ooh, a spell shard. An artifact spell shard. Gains extra potency. Um, no one really needs this. Uh... I, I, I guess. I guess. You're not really going to use it, though, is the thing. Alright, well, we have enough to get a recruit now, so you guys are going to do that. Uh, these guys, I think, are going to find an item here. Figure Fifth Wig can take uh, Geneva, Loot, and whoever we get from here uh, on some other missions, while the other crew, the main crew, takes on the... Uh, Capture Mark Sites. So, that should be alright. Uh, you guys did absolutely nothing there, like I wanted. Okay, so, what I meant to do was pick from Legacy. So, we have, uh, let's see. We could get Mercus or Quinn, looks like. Mercus Chuck was another member of the uh, party with uh, Dorgan who didn't get to finish their thing. But you know what, I don't think we need either of those. We could go for a, another Mystic, though. So... No. Okay. Uh, let's change your name to... Stormwrath, because that makes sense. And hey, is there any neat hair if we can give you? There should be plenty of neat hair. You could have a little beanie, or a little toque. Um, anything else? Ah, oh, now that brings on the edge. All right, you know what? You, we're gonna make the edgiest mystic ever. Okay, primary color black. Secondary color black. <laughs> you know what? Just for the heck of it, black hair. Or no, you can't see anything there. Okay, um. You know, white hair. There you go. <laughs> he he bleaches his hair using whatever means there are. What does happiness look like? For Storm, the answer was always his hometown, where boy life was full of sports and dancing and never growing old. Stretches of absolute solitude engulfed years of his life, where he was com contemplating alone, no one could say. Famous mostly as weird and unfriendly wanderer who set woman's heart fluttering. He hoped to eventually leave more, a more lasting mark on his world. On this, his world. Still, in the meantime, nostalgic destiny and potential. You know what? No, that doesn't. That doesn't work with me. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. What can we do? A dark heart. Um. Gritty. And let's see. Uh, we want to bring out all the edge. Like so much edge. Brash. Thorny? Uh Wildheart? You know I think I think Brash. Brash here. Um and you know what? Let's while we're maximizing edge, 
let's let's see. Um, Ball snark, snark to the max. Uh, snark loner hothead. That's it. Um, otherwise, we'll, we'll lower groove ball a little bit, and uh, you know maybe bump up romantic a smidge. Uh, yeah, you know what? There we go. Maximum Edge Lord Stormwrath. Maximum Edge. You're welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, Storm. Dark knowledge. Don't try to play it down. I've heard about you, and you know you know what stands out to me? The weight of holding back an entire world's wrath of encroaching darkness? Um, apart from that. What stands out is what those monsters can do. Mechanical workers that never sleep. Giant bugs that control dreams and thoughts. Gorgons that can do whatever it is Gorgons do? What if we come, could harness some of that power? We couldn't do any worse than, with it than I, I already have. It's monster craft, no getting around that. Probably built upon a slab of unsavory rituals and blood sacrifices and such horrors. I don't want to tell my children that it was all that it was all there, but I was too timid to fight for it. Well, whatever your motive, anyone who wants to who wants to destroy monsters is welcome in the Bronze Brotherhood. We'll train you up. As a mystic, the edgiest of edgiest mystics. Uh, yes. So we'll train up uh, Storm as the edgiest of edgy mystics, and use our remaining legacy points to turn off terror birds and um, extra stump damage, I guess. Okay, Storm is ready for adventure. Uh, infuse without one additional target. Sure, why not? And I think. You guys are going to prepare defenses here, and then we're going to send the rest of the party here as, as well. We're going to resplit the party for an old wish passing. Powda and Fwifi go to pay their respects. Well, you know, why not? Why not? Powda and Fwifi are called to a hill village, where an acquaintance of theirs has lost his wife. It's a hard thing, death. We forget how quickly things can turn. The funerary rites are brief. The crowd that's gathered is impressive for such a small town. As mourners disperse, Powder and Fifwig spot Kine standing by a flower-strung cart bearing a loaf-shrouded body. Kine, we're so sorry to hear about Borea. A lot of folks came. Ah, friends, how many years has it been? They go with him, up the road to his home in the hill. You lose perspective sometimes. Easy enough to do, sadly. You think you'll have your years together, decades, from your first cake to your middle years, old age, and then... and... but... The two help kind transfer the shrouded body to a small prepared clay room beside the house. They settle inside, and he tells them of his plan, and the provincial custom he's observing. Green veiling, it's called. A woven shroud of Dawnsward. Dawnsward grows thick around here, the little woodlands, you'll see. It's a strong aroma. The body stays fresh, sometimes as long as four years, or five. We hill folk will generally build a clay home from the de for the departed, on the house's shady side. A wadshan is the old word for it. It means memory house. And she'd normally lie there for her term. When the shroud of Dawnsward turns black, she'll be buried. Sounds like the ideal neighbor. But I don't plan on waiting. You don't plan to wait? So you plan to burn her, bury her soon? Tonight even? No, my wife Borea and I will be going on a journey, and I hoped you'd come along. Crack! Oh! A hard, sudden rain falls, chittering and droning like a swarm. Yes, I hope you come. Be our escort. It's a dangerous world, and you're both strong. Stronger even than I remember. Well, we're here now. I'll come along with you if you need protection. Me too. And, uh, you know what? Bring Geneva. You'll, uh, she'll need to experience. Uh, Baldrick can finish clearing that. I'm gonna pop, pop one more defense here, and then, uh... He, if Baldrick isn't done by then, he'll probably... Yeah, okay. I'll probably get these guys to scout out this way, then. Ooh, incursion! Oh, great. Okay, or never mind. Just continue to prepare defenses, I guess. 
This uh, incursion is uh, it's a common. Just west of Freyla Lombiard, Kain leads his ox and cart, carrying the body of his wife down through the hills into the arms of an old forest. Mist rolls in as twilight takes hold beneath a cloudy sky. Well, we always come past in the daytime when fog passes. Buck up, you're our grizzled warrior. Place I'm looking for shouldn't be far. Can I ask about Boria? I don't think either of us ever met her. I remember you talking about her. I'm sorry, she never came with me to Twin Grove. I always wanted her to, but she was never quite well enough, and she insisted on staying home to tend to the farm. We met in the spring, I remember clearly. My grandma had just passed. There's nothing more precious than a woman who can make you laugh, even when you're hurting. He built the farm there, on the rocky hill. She liked the farm, Boria. She was a bright and imaginative woman. Shy, though. She was born with an illness that never fully left. Our good times were great, but our bad times, when she couldn't rise from bed, those made my heart splinter, and one day, it shattered. If there's one thing I know, it's that I don't want to live in that empty house without her. The forest had been dead quiet when they entered, and as they gone deeper, noises have filtered into hearing. Drips, scrapes, low trills. The smells have turned richer, of damp earth, spicy bark, quilted mosses and purple green and beige. Soon, the ox halts. They come into a clearing where a goddess lives. Oh. Time? What is this? Yes, I intended to find her. The reason I brought Broya here, the reason I'm here, and you're here. Borye, she's a goddess of borders and in-betweens. This realm of hers welcomes both dead and living. So I'm here to join her. Borya and I can be together still. Kain, you're not thinking straight. I know how deeply you loved her, but... Look, it's this forest. I read about it. This goddess... Or we rules it like a region between our world and a place for the departed. I suppose it exists for us, for those like us. A place Borea can be without pain, and I can be with Borea. That's not right, is it? They're talking about dying. I won't be able to leave this place, but why would I wish to? I'll still live, she will too. We'll just live here. You have to understand, this is what I want. All, you need, all I need is for you to help me complete the ceremony and take the poor ox back with you. Don't you have a lover, Powder? Put yourself in my position. I'm sorry, Kai. Can't stand here and let you throw your life behind hers. You know, it should be his choice. Can't say I disagree. Not that I'd claim to understand. I love Baldrick and all. But I don't think either of us would wish for an existence here, haunting the gloom. Alright, what's the first thing? We'll lay us both at the foot of the shrine, and then... She'll test us. Or it will. A test, huh? Well, fortunately, I'm one of the greatest cheaters there is. It is dangerous. We must duel Ori's guardian, and that's why I needed you along. But if you decline, I'll understand, and I'll fight it alone. You're not a fighter, kind. Hold on to Boria. We'll stand for you, and hope we win. They pull Boya's shrouded body from the cart bed. True to its reputation, the woven vines of Dawnsword have kept her perfectly preserved. With Boria across Kind's lap, the two rest at the foot of Ore's shrine. Goddess, Goddess Orwe, hear me. Beneath your mercy lie two who wish to roam your realm together, live in your lands and laugh again. Please, permit us to stay. Send your guardian and my champions shall stand to fight it. Send your guide, and my love and I shall go behind. Garlands of mist wrap and twist round bros, statues, arms, and legs over their damp, dusted cheeks. The quiet air clumps in their throat. But then... The voice of Orway is a groan, far away and felt more than heard. It's her, it's in the stones and roots, and rises from somewhere deep down. Whoosh! Truth is tested. A noise nears them, crashing through the trees. Retainer of the Old God. Its inscrutable stony head turns to follow each sound, each movement, 
Its body crunches and crackles, leaping violently forward. And it's over there! Servia! Go get it! Good job, Servia! Geneva! Uh, quick! Oh, oh god, Powder still hurt! Powder is very much hurt. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, Powder, stay here! Okay, that's fine. Uh, fifth wig. Swap. Or no, uh, swap again. Bite. And stab. That's alright. Had some good experience for Geneva. That's why I brought her along. Memorial Pauldron. Uh, let's give that to Geneva. There we go. The Guardian falls, its great stone knees clattering apart, rolling in the moss. The wheeling rocks gather to gather dust and shadows at, shadows as they settle, until they look like they've rested there for centuries. The glade goes calm. And then Kine starts to fade. Goddess? The wrapped body of Boya across his lap seems to lose its substance. He has time to say, thank you, friends. And he's gone. Well, now that's done. Where's the ox got to? Yeah, good thinking. They find it, not far off, blowing pleasantly and munching clover. Nice, the world's still here. For us it is. This world and all we know. Biffwig, still awake? I picked these up around the stones, for a kind disappeared. Didn't even think about it. I'm making notes. They return to the farm Kine and Boyo once built. They set things in order and see that it passes to a worthy family. Then, they're on their way again. The road is pale, splotched and torn in places with ruts and grass. Stretches of the journey are entirely wordless. What's on your mind, Powder? Those memories, old wishes of ours, it's hard to let the good things go. I, am, I know it is, and I feel sometimes I... The wind picks up. I don't know. Yeah. A road the color of old canvas billows in front of them, behind them. Alright, Powder is now a Silverhorn Warrior! Um... Uh, I think Bard fits him mostly. I mean, look at that face. How does that face not scream Bard? So, yeah. Um... And you know what? I think these guys are gonna pair defenses here. And... So, I think what I'm gonna do right now is... I'm gonna cut... I'm gonna cut here and defend against these two incursions. Because... They're just incursions, nothing major and interesting happens. Uh, if anyone, like, dies or anything, I'll put that in. But, uh, for now, I'm just gonna assume everything ends up fine, and I'll just cut out the incursions and come back to you afterwards. So, yeah, I'll be back. Alright, that is one. And you know what? I think uh, this guy, this place only has a strength of three. Corn Kettle has a defense of three, so I think we'll actually be okay there. Uh, let's cancel that job. Uh, so I think I'm gonna split the party now. So down here, I'm going to send uh, Fifth Wake, Loot, Geneva, and Storm. Uh, by the way. Uh, Loot and Storm uh, hooked up recently, so they're gonna go down here and scout this w this area. And uh, our, our OG team, Dork and Baljik, Woen and Woen and Powda, uh, I think are gonna try and capture this mark to drop in sight. Former colleagues, I've always wanted an excuse to come through Shroud Re Shroud Clover Fields, best relic hunting in the land I've heard. Sounds right up your alley. Except for the monsters, I assume? That's the thing. There have been no signs of them since we got here. None of their debris, none of those noises in the night. Maybe we lucked out this time. 
think it'd be too much to hope for a few days' vacation? The Sword Nightshard is supposed to be around here somewhere, and that would be, be a fantastic, um... Nightshard? I'm afraid we'll be going home with that. There are markets in low places that would pay high prices for something like this, and we're... Geneva? Charver. Well, fancy that. You know her? Ha! Does she? Former colleagues, let's say. Wait, what would you have been doing with people like... It's not important. Her parents were away for a long time. Oh, but it might be to your friends here. I assume your folks are okay with having a traitor in their group? That was a long time ago. Believe me, my brother knows that as well as you do. He's still in prison. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Hey! Hey, now sounds like a great time for introductions. Hi, we're the Bronze Brotherhood. Fighting monsters, making the land safe, all that good stuff. Huh. So you're some kind of a hero now? Sure. I'm sorry, this just screams high school high school drama right here. You're in it for the spoils as much as you ever were. Just with a more convenient excuse this time. Charve, this is like the the ideal uh high school bully right here. And like the former bully's best friend or something. Ugh, how long do you think she's been saving that line? I know one thing, you're not leaving with that sword. You still could join us in this fight. The sword would be nice. But a new recruit would also be nice. We do have the legacy points for it. Dice, what do you say? The dice says... Wait, hang on. Okay, I actually forgot to assign numbers. Dice, what do you say? One, two, three, four, five, six. Light dice says, uh, get the, get, uh, yeah. The dice says you can still join us. Look, I know you get around. You can't have missed the danger that's been building up the Yandering Lands. It's not too late to face it head on, to play a part in this story. You always have a choice. Plus, you weren't wrong. The spoils are pretty good. Wait. You're serious? You betray me, take my brother from me, and then cut you come trotting up years later telling me to join you? Alright, you know what? Anybody who wants to join the traitor, go right ahead. Walk over there. Daglop? Geneva seems to be doing quite well. I don't want to wait around until I end up in prison too. Two traitors taken care of in one day then. Not so bad after all. Wait, listen. Take the sword. Take the sword. Daglop leaves with us. Nobody gets hurt. Wait, really? Well then, look at Geneva giving up something shiny. No wonder you became a hero. It's Aunt Sue too. But you'll probably take that as a compliment. They're gone. Ew, feels like good to have that over with, right? At least we have a lot to talk about now on the hike back out of here. Alright, so we got a new member! Daglop! Daglop, the known last name! Daglop... Uh, hang on? Daglop... Dagwood? No. Yeah, let's just go with Daglop. He can. That's, I haven't seen that name before, so. Daglop! Daglop Drake. That's a nice name. Okay. And, Daglop, tell us about yourself while we end the episode. The houses of his hometown were barely able to escape Daglop's youth, which was full of ill conceived jokes and unintentional fires. They were glad to see at the back of him when he decided to wander. Rumor was he once stopped a man from killing another by throwing himself in front of the blade. It didn't seem too far-fetched. Working on a private legend, he had a habit of watching everyone, searching out small things in them that shone. 
He's a clown with integrity and creative. Alright, well, welcome to the team, Daglop! You are now part of the Bronze Brotherhood! And it is with the Bronze Brotherhood that I say thank you everyone so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it, don't if you didn't, pray for the village of Corncal, they're on their own with this one, and next time, uh, the elders of the group will take, will, uh, capture this marked drop in sight, while the, uh, younger members of the group will, I guess, go for this one! Which was kind of unintended, they'll, I mean, they might take a detour into Wanderwood, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Uh, but until then, I will see you next time. Farewell. Creatures lurking suffer worse than me.